so what's up what's up let's pull on up to usher raymond's mom his manager at the time jonetta patton okay so doing my backtrack history usher's voice was going through a transitional phase he was going through puberty and LaFace Records owned by Babyface and L.A. Reed. It was L.A. Reed's idea for Usher to go spend some time with Diddy, Puff Daddy. Okay, so that had to get cleared, obviously, through Usher's mother. That's his guardian. That's to say so. That's the manager. So his mother, Jonetta Patton, says... She felt like she felt like she did her due diligence. But let's hear it from her about Usher going to stay this time with this grown man here. Her son is a teenager, but she says she felt like it was a business decision to let your child go to New York. A business decision. Name his mom also seeks to clarify matters regarding Diddy, alleging his involvement in Usher's hospitalization and her contemplation of suing him. Even prior to this, questions lingered about whether Usher's mom was aware of the situation. Now, according to Puff's then bodyguard, Gene, he says an incident took place that involved Usher. Gene Deal has confirmed that there was indeed a situation that ended up with Usher in the hospital. Puff and Usher did have a situation. And that situation led Usher to the hospital. Gene also insisted that Usher had no right to defend Diddy after what he had him go through. Now I'm telling that because you take enough of somebody that you know and a lot of more people know didn't do you right for context having to go to the hospital the house what happened under diddy's care what happened under diddy's watch what happened with usher's mother trusting diddy to care for her son what happened there's been a lot of speculations there has been rumors racing um if miss Patton did not hear of those things then that was being said that possibly took Usher to the hospital. Very horrible things have been mentioned as to how he wound up there under Diddy's care that maybe she may not have known or maybe she did know. We don't know. Or even if did that happen, what is being speculated or did it not happen? worse. There's talk that some diagnosis that landed Usher in the hospital, allegedly courtesy of Diddy, was the same one that sparked those lawsuits. Rumor has it that Usher dropped a cool million to make those suits disappear, but some people still ain't buying that Mama Patton was clueless about what was going on. Now, Usher's been very tight-lipped about it as well. When asked if his parents knew what was going on at Diddy's Flava camp, he straight up said that they had no clue. Now, there's some serious heat going around with this allegation that Diddy's got some dirt on Usher, like for real dirt. Were any medical records pulled? Um, if Janetta thought about possibly suing at that time, did she get some hush money to get quieted down? Did she get a call that we're gonna make this go away? Just hear me out, just hear what I have to say. And we are to never bring this up again. Need you to sign this, need you to take this and never bring it up. Well, here we are many years later and it's being brought up again. Now, with this being brought up, is this opening up old wounds, old thoughts, shoulda, coulda, woulda, her feeling guilty, like why did I let my underage son go? If anything, couldn't I have dropped everything that I was doing? No, probably not. Because she was probably working trying to keep her head above water. She may have been thinking that she was doing the right thing, letting her son go with Diddy, the magnitude of Diddy at that time. Like this could be a really good look if my son is around him. Maybe the mentor Diddy will speak up for my son and say, go ahead, 
um, he's ready. Give, give him that deal. He is ready to sign. His voice is on point. I've been working with him. His delivery, um, stage, media, presence. He has that it factor. Sign him, LA. He is not the one that you want to sign and then place on the shelf. To what extent did Usher have to go in order for LA Reed to be talked into making sure that he got this record deal? Why did Usher have to go all the way there? Why did Janetta have to agree? Is it something now that's tugging away at Usher's mom's heart? Like if she could do it all over again? Is it a message that she wants to share with these up and coming mothers about their sons, their daughters? What to be vigilant about, what to be watched about what to walk away from, what to question, what not to do. Make sure you are there involved, crossing the I, dotting, crossing the T, dotting the I every step of the way as questions. If you cannot be there, it is not worth it. This is a world where people are looking and seeking whomever they can devour. And on an everyday note, there is this evangelist. She's also a mentor. Her message has always been, mentor life coach, has always been save the children. Save the children. Be protective of the children. She would take the message right into the church. Be protective of your children. You want to be out here dating? You better make sure that man is looking at you and not your children. Be watchful. If that's the case, don't even bring no man around until. That I will be the best mother that I could be. That's right. We don't have a training manual. We don't have a manuscript telling us how to raise our children. But the Holy Ghost gave me instruction on how to raise mine. Like she had like a tool, a tool guide. She said, parenting does not come with this manual to be prepared. She said, but one thing she wanted to do was to protect hers. Protect hers, she said, by any means necessary to protect the children. Save the children. I, I can hear her voice right now so strong to save the children, to do everything any and everything possible when you have to tell that child no you can't go over to such and such house this weekend they can come over here oh that's what your friends listen to okay well nope you can't listen to that you can listen to this instead now no we can't what you call shelter our kids but we sure can do the best that we can to protect them from hurt harm and danger we can prepare them the best that we can to not set them up in situations. Like some parents not thinking straight, not thinking forward. Don't set your child up. And then what about the parents who just plain and simply did not know it was just trust, tr trusting. Didn't think, oh, I don't think anything like that. Anything salacious like that could be going on. Pray for those parents. Pray for those parents as well. Cause you don't always know, but they shouldn't be punished at the same time and they can relive and go back and question and and try to set things right to let that kid know look mama wouldn't say it something daddy wouldn't say it something to take care of it i just didn't let it go by the wayside because had i known at that time it wouldn't have never happened so we don't want to just go in and you know, pounce on Janetta, like, well, where was she? Well, why she? Ain't no telling who all came at her. But see, that tells you, you got to be even stronger because these powers and principalities will come at you to devour your most sacred gift from God. Coming after the children working through you, the adult, to get you to consent because they know how to talk to an adult for things that sound titillating to the ear. Just sign over your child. Then they got your child. You know they can overpower that because it's a child. Children are innocent. 
So if Janetta did mess up, if she is thinking about suing Puff, is, is Usher going to be willing to talk if this is the case? Is Usher going to back up what this um, possible case might lead into that he might have to be questioned about to tell his side of the story? Would he be ready for that? Would it be too damaging? We don't know the mind state. But we know it's got to stop. We know we keep hearing Puffy's name, all things alleged. I don't know what happened, but somebody knows. Somebody experienced something. If these things did happen, that need to be talked about. That needs to be pulled from under the rug. Needs to be exposed. So it's a good thing Suge Marionitis talking. Suge is serving a 28-year penalty. It's good that Cat Williams had to sit down to do his exposing. The year of 2024 ain't been nothing nice, but his show is needed. Unravel it, unravel it, blow it down, take it apart, what it's not supposed to be. Keep praying, keep praying for everyone's safety. And like should told him, like should told Puff, the bad people has got to be removed. Good has to start playing back into this world. As the spirit of love, kindness, respect, being thankful, having empathy, wanting the best for people. The spirit of jealousy, being envy, taking advantage, being insulting. What happened to uplifting? edifying, giving your brother, giving your sister a helping hand, an encouraging word that they gonna make it, they can make it. What's going on? Let's talk about it. How can I be of help? You're not alone. I've gone through that. I know somebody who has gone through that. I know somebody who's real. That can help you, that it'll be safe, it'll be sacred. They will not take away from what you are telling me. It won't go Nowhere. Where are the real churches? Where are the real men? Where are the real women who are raising up women how they're supposed to be raised? Where are the real men that are raising up men, young men, how they're supposed to be raised? Where are the uncles that's setting forth an example? Where are the big cousins that's setting forth a big example? We have a purpose. We are to never give up. We are never to feel like we're at the tail end. We at the head. We're never to feel like we at the bottom. We at the top because we have something of importance to say that's going to be used for generations to come. And again, show love, show respect to our elders. They'll always have a place. Sometimes they feel like, well, I'm not needed. Nobody's listening. We're listening and we love you and we appreciate you. A lot of us wouldn't have made it this far if it wasn't for our great grandmothers and our grandmothers our aunts, our uncles, the extended family, shout out to the real ones. Always gonna have some good ones, always gonna have some bad bunches, but let good outshine evil because there are still good people. So I'm thankful for each and every one of you that have been good to yourself. I'm thankful for each and every one of you that have been good to not only yourself, but your families, your coworkers, your animals, people. I'm encouraging you to have a good day, a good night, and to think on positive things. I appreciate you.